What's up guys? I'm just going to show you real quick how to create a subscription plan in Stripe so that you can test it before you actually put it live. We're going to cover that. I'm going to create three plans for Chirply. I'm going to be raising the price on Chirply pretty soon so I thought I'd just record me creating these new payment plans. Um, once I go raise the price I'll show you actually how to test these plans inside of ClickFunnels um, before it actually goes live. So be sure to watch this video if you ever want to create a recurring subscription. This will show you how to use test mode effectively because a lot of people mess this up and that really jams them up when they're trying to do their um, sales funnels. So pay attention to this one if you ever want to sell a subscription product and once I get this live on May 1st, I'll show you that as well on how to test it before you actually put it in your live sales funnel. That being said, let's jump right in. What's up guys? I'm going to go ahead and create the new subscriptions for Chirply. Um, I let people know I was going to be raising the price here on May 1st. So I'm going to go ahead and get these created. So once the price goes up, it'll be ready to go. A um, couple things I wanted to touch on. So I use ClickFunnels for some of my landing pages here. Um, whatever payment processor you're using, usually you can create one-time payments right inside of their platform. So, if I were charging just one-time payments, I wouldn't need to set up a subscription inside of Stripe. But since it is a subscription, that's going to be a monthly recurring charge. That is something I'll have to set up. Another thing I wanted to talk about is you have to set up the actual subscription and a test subscription. So in order to test your, your payment plans, you need a test subscription. So you can click this little button here, and it shows you test data. So this is the actual data here. And if you toggle this switch, you can actually put it in test mode. So what I do is actually pull up two tabs so I can do both payment plans at the same time. Um, it just makes it a lot easier because you have to use the same um, code in each plan. So I'm just going to walk through this with you, show you how to do this in case you ever need to set up a subscription inside of Stripe. So first things first, we're going to go to the Chirply funnel. It's going to be this monthly funnel here, and I'm going to go to the products tab inside of ClickFunnels. You can see I have these three plans right here. Um, so a seven day free trial, $15 a month, seven day free trial, $47 a month, seven day free trial, $97 a month. So what I'm gonna be doing is increasing these prices and this is a one-time order bump as well. So, this will be included. I'm going to leave this at the same price. Um, what this does is if someone takes this order bump, they actually get additional software um, just with their monthly payments. So it's a super good deal. That's why I put it in the funnel as an option. Um, so instead of just getting Chirply, you get some additional software with your month monthly subscription. Sorry, first thing we want to do is go to billing and then products. And that'll show you all your pricing plans. Um, and we'll do the same thing in test mode. We'll go to billing and then products. And then we're going to create a new product. And this will be Chirply starter and the statement 
descriptor will be the same. Hit create product. And the plan nickname will be what you'll know it as. So I'm going to put new chirply starter. And this ID is how you're going to use it inside of your uh, payment processing cart. So if you're using ClickFunnels, you'll use this ID to actually link it to your funnel. So it's going to be 45 monthly. And I'll put start. Price per unit is going to be $47 monthly. Trial period, I'm going to go with no trial period. Um, you can always add one in ClickFunnels if you want to. I'm kind of planning to do away with the trials. So I might add it, I might not. But right now I'm not going to set it up in Stripe to have a trial. So this is the ID that I really need when I go to set up my test product. So I'm going to copy that over here. And I'll do that same ID. And that's what allows me to actually test this plan. So when I put my funnel in test mode, this ID needs to match the actual plan. That's why I do both at the same time. So we'll just set this to 47 and add that pricing plan. Now this one was added in test mode and I have the actual plan here as well. So I'm going to add this one. So we'll just do the same thing again. So those are created. Now all I have to do is link them up in my funnel. Um, I'm going to wait until May 1st to do that. So the current pricing plans are going to be good through then. Uh, once I go swap those out, these will be the new prices. And I'll show you that as well once I'm setting it up to show you how I test the funnel. Make sure the plans are working. Make sure all the automations are working. And then... Once they go live, those will be set. So hopefully that was some good info for you guys. If you ever want to create a subscription plan inside of Stripe, you got to do it in live mode and test mode using the same key for each plan to make sure it works inside of your cart. So we'll do a follow-up video soon showing you how to actually test that to make sure all your subscriptions are working. Till then, we'll check you on the next video.